Hello, my name is Dr. Carl Ogier, board certified emergency physician. In this patient education video, I will be talking about how to know if you have atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib, is a condition that causes your heartbeat to beat irregular and usually really fast. So you see, the normal heart rate is about 60 to 100 beats per minute, but patients with atrial fibrillation unless they're medicated, usually have heart rates in excess of 150 beats per minute. If you're affected, chances are you've had at least some of the symptoms, even if you haven't realized what was causing them. You must continue to watch this video to learn more about atrial fibrillation and gain an understanding of some of the key warning signs and symptoms of atrial fibrillation. But first, let's answer the question why do some people get atrial fibrillation? Atrial fibrillation causes the atria, the two upper chambers in the top part of your heart, to be irregular and out of sync with the ventricles, the two lower parts of your heart. The upper chambers quiver due to erratic electrical signals, and this produces a rapid and irregular heartbeat. It is kind of like an electrical storm causing the heart to quiver and shake almost uncontrollably and the ventricles just try to catch up to that storm on the top. Technically, you are more likely to have atrial fibrillation if you are older, but plenty of younger people are affected by it too. Other factors that can make atrial fibrillation more likely include high blood pressure, especially if it is not controlled through medication and diet and exercise. But also chronic conditions, uh, those are many of them that contribute to atrial fibrillation and problems affecting the heart such as heart disease and heart attacks, congenital heart defects and abnormal heart valves. It can also be a familial disease which means that the risk is higher if any close family member of yours suffers from atrial fibrillation. What does atrial fibrillation feel like? In a few lucky patients, it could cause no symptoms, but for most people, atrial fibrillation is symptomatic and there will be warning signs that something isn't right. The first sign of atrial fibrillation can be a missed or skipped heartbeat, followed by very quick of a thudding or flipping feeling in the chest and a fast racing heart rate. This is one of the most common signs of atrial fibrillation and it can be really scary to the point of feeling like you're having a heart attack or a panic attack. Symptoms can be fairly minor or they can be very intense depending on how severe your atrial fibrillation is. Some people only get a few relatively minor symptoms and can still go about their normal life with them, while others are completely debilitated by the disease. Some of the more common symptoms that people with atrial fibrillation can experience include heart palpitations, which produce a sensation of racing, flipping or quivering heartbeat, pain or discomfort in the chest, a feeling of fatigue or shortness of breath, feeling weak, even when doing simple tasks that aren't exhausting like going from one room to the next or walking across a parking lot feeling faint and exhausted after an episode of atrial fibrillation, finding it difficult to do anything that is physical, such as exercising or going up a flight of stairs, also feeling dizzy or lightheaded, confusion, episodes of sweat which we call diaphoresis, and feeling panicky or anxious. So what do these symptoms actually feel like? Well, here are some of the comments that people with atrial fibrillation often make. My heart feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. I feel completely wiped out. My heart is fluttering around like a butterfly. I feel like I'm having a heart attack. My heart feels as though it's flopping around in my chest. My heart has started pounding like I've just run a marathon. Symptoms may not be there all the time, and many people find it that they go into atrial fibrillation every so often, mostly out of the blue. Others have persistent symptoms that seem to never go away. So, does everyone with AFib get symptoms? Well, no, as explained before, some people with atrial fibrillation don't have any symptoms at all. 
This is known as asymptomatic atrial fibrillation or silent AFib. And it's most likely show up during a routine medical examination. There are a few different types of atrial fibrillation and this can affect which symptoms you may experience and how long they last. Number one, paroxysmal atrial fibrillation can come on randomly and suddenly with symptoms lasting hours or sometimes just a few minutes. It doesn't last more than a week and the episodes usually end on their own. The symptoms can begin anytime and include palpitations, breathlessness, anxiety, fatigue, and weakness. And these tend to develop very quickly and go away very quickly. The feeling of physically exhaustion after the episode of atrial fibrillation is very common with this type of AFib. Number two, persistent atrial fibrillation lasts longer than seven days. Symptoms can be the same as with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation and treatment is needed with this type of atrial fibrillation as heart rhythm does not return to normal by itself. And third, long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation. This one is longer lasting than even persistent atrial fibrillation and usually carries on for at least 12 months, a year. So, if you have already been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation or you are at high risk for atrial fibrillation based on your family history, medical conditions, and your age, then I recommend you get yourself a heart rate monitor that you can screen for irregularities in rhythm. By far, the best one at this time, and it is FDA approved for the detection of atrial fibrillation, is the cardiac device. And the cardiac device has a band you can apply to your iWatch device so that you can detect atrial fibrillation. For under $100, you can perform a single lead EKG on your heart in less than 30 seconds. And the AI, the artificial intelligence of the software, will then give you the interpretation of the rhythm and or you can pay a separate fee to an EKG professional, a tech or a cardiologist, to read it for you giving you instant peace of mind if you're experiencing the symptoms we talked about, but you don't have atrial fibrillation. But if it ends up being atrial fibrillation, then you can seek medical attention and therefore save you from life-threatening complications that can happen from atrial fibrillation. So I want you to check out this cardio device by clicking on the link on the description below. Again, my name is Dr. Carlo Ojet. And I want to thank you for spending this time with me learning about atrial fibrillation symptoms and how to know if you are suffering from the condition. I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Make sure you take time to click the like button. Then please leave a comment and join the discussion and conversation. Put your questions there. And don't forget subscribe to the channel.